On today's episode, we're going to take a look at Cronova's latest projector. It is a mini projector with Wi-Fi capabilities. It has Bluetooth connectivity, 170 ANSI lumen. It's portable enough that you can bring outdoors with two hours of battery life to watch a movie and also comes with a 7,000 milliamp battery so you can charge your phone on the go. Today's episode, we're going to take a look at Cronova's latest mini projector, and that's coming up. What's up guys, this is Hervé from Hervé's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products. Today we're taking a look at Cronova's latest projector. It is a mini projector. You're gonna get Bluetooth connectivity, Wi-Fi connectivity, 100 ANSI little men, a built-in two hours to go watch a movie on the go, and it has a 7,000 milliamp battery to charge your phone. Now, this is gonna be really, really good. It's also a 1080p projector. Anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom over here. Now, if this video gets 4,000 likes, I will pick someone random, and this projector will be yours. Let's go check it out. Let the unboxing begin. Now, I got this projector for $269. Now, once you get into the projector life, you realize how well and how easy it is to get into to bring all your favorite watching to a whole new level. There's nothing like having a projector in your home, which is why we have a couple. Now this is a wireless smart projector with Android built in. So it has some apps, capabilities. Now this is going to be completely business ready. Now for a projector this size, this would be good for presentation. So it has a built in, um, it's ready for HDMI, it has a micro SD card ready for you. You're gonna be able to download apps and you can go wireless here by connecting it to your local uh, wireless Bluetooth speaker. You can also use it via AirPlay, Miracast, DLNA, and you can stream your own wireless keyboard and mouse to it. This has keystone correction, so if it's not right on the top or bottom, you'll be able to adjust it, fully conquer that. Now, it comes with a built-in stereo speaker. Not sure how it's going to be, but you can also output this via a 3.5 output. And this is perfect for games. Um, if you want to take your PlayStation or a PS Vita or your Android device and you want to take it on a bigger platform outside or at a cousin's house, this is going to be good for you. So let's see what comes in this package. Now, let us slip this out. Make sure not to ruin. Okay, let's take a look. So, we have our controller. Now, the projector is literally this small. This is the brand new Cronova projector. Fits in the size of your hand. You can see built-in speakers inside. You have a micro SD. You have a focus right there. Focus wheel, very important. USB. You have a DC for the charging, power cable, USB, HDMI, and headphone jack. On this side, you actually have the fan for the speakers. So let's put this right over here. We have our controller. Now let's go over some technical specs. The model is an HDP 300. The native resolution is 854 by 480. It's compatible with up to 1080p resolution. Now in here, they give you an HDMI to HDMI, which is great because most of them give you a very small HDMI cord. So that's good. Now it has DC power and the power of what is 22 watts. The built-in speaker is only five watts and you'll get um, a five ohm resistance. You also will get an Android operating system. Here, you'll see the power cable. Really convenient, really small. And you can lock it in or open. That's really good. It's breakable. 
And that's all that we have in a box. Now it comes with the CPU is an ARM Cortex 87 quad core 1.2 gigahertz. You have the RAM is one gig of RAM inside. You also get a ROM. That's really fresh. Now take a look at the specifications. You can see it's really, really convertible. It's portable. It could practically fit in my pocket. This also has Wi-Fi capabilities of 802.11, uh, A, B, G, N, A, C, which is Wi-Fi 4, 5, 6. It runs on widescreen mirroring. You can airplay. You can also use the um, app, which is our mirror okay, so The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you that projector is right there. Now. Compare the size of this tiny projector versus this projector right there. Now this is a huge, just to give you a size comparison, you can see how my hand is compared to this one here. It's so tiny. It's a really small representation. So once again, just to give you a perspective as to what this is going to be. So let's go over here and we're going to leave the light on first and we're going to do bring it down, bring down my hidden uh, screen. Just so you can see. Now we're going to turn on the projector just so you can see how it looks with the light on. I also have uh, some other lights here, but take a look. And everything is controlled here. All you have to do is hold here. You have full granularity. And just keep in mind, I don't have anything connected to it as far as Bluetooth. We're just gonna take a look at the Android apps that it has. And you can see the display comes up nice and colored. makes a noise. Now you're gonna get an innovative DLP. So this is the built-in apps. With the blacks, you can see how vibrant it is. And let's take a look at the sounds. It looks really good. Here's the sound. Luxury unlike any other. Performance unlike any no, other. That is the built in Visit speaker. Maserati of Central New Jersey and see what. Well, hello guys. It says you do get 5,000 likes in the next 24 hours. Uh, I will, for our next vlog video, uh, do a vlog. Now, if you're looking at it, this is a 1080p projector that's really tiny and it has a built in speaker that's very audible. You can put this with an external speaker and you'd be good to go. So carry a speaker that has stereo and you're good to go. So let's take a look at the different options that come built in with this device. So all you need to do, if you have an HDMI, you can put it in. So if you have like a Fire Stick or um, you could actually program Fire Stick directly on, but that'd be a mistake and I'll show you why. So let's go to the different connectivity. Netflix is an app right there. You have Aptoid, which is a plethora of Android applications. Think of it as a super app store for Android apps. You can discover every single app you can think of, game directly on. It's really, really intuitive. You can see the different options that there are. But if you're familiar with the Aptoid store, you have it here. So we have connection to Netflix directly. That's great. So it's really, now what you want you to notice is the vibrant color. It's really a great display. You can connect this to any device. So it has two HDMIs, uh, actually one HDMI, two USB ports, uh, micro SD. So if you're going on a plane and you want to download your stuff, well, you'd be good to go. And let's click back. You have also iExplorer, so you can see your different folders. This is how you'd find your stuff, all your applications that you have, your backups, 
as such, the SD card, USB, this is how you get to do it. Now, the internal storage is really, really immersed. You can connect your Bluetooth source right over here. And it's a Bluetooth promiscuous device. If you're gonna pair your uh, iPad or your car, you'll be good to go. Because definitely this is a device for media consumption. We go to eShare. This is another option. You connect to the following Wi-Fi. You connect it via that web address or you can scan it right on the corner right there. And then you look for, you launch eShare and you look for eShare 3636. That's how you connect. You also have iOS mirror. So you'd go on your Apple devices and you'd AirPlay, you just look for that eShare 3636 and you're good to go. But honestly, this is a standalone system that I would say it's a highly promiscuous device, but you can download whatever you want through the Google Play Store and it'd be a mistake not to take advantage of the Android system. You'll see that you have Hulu. You even have a browser on here, Prime Video, all of the applications. So what I did is I put in my favorite apps there was yet I could download absolutely everything on here. We have this for live TV. I'm talking international cable. And I'll show you, we can go all the way down. Let's pick one such as ESPN. And this is ESPN on the standalone system. It's really, really good. And let's go back. You also have all your premium channels here. If you want an HBO or Cinemax, well, it's there for you. You also have all of your movie stuff. I have my comic stuff here. I have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Prime Video, everything you can download, you have right over here. It's really, really an amazing uh, little device. You go to the movies, everything is here. You go to TV shows, all your stuff is here. Every app that you're used to using, you have here at your fingertips. Just make sure if you lose connection, just make sure you're pointing your remote to the device and let's go back to the house and you have all of your apps here Hulu directly on now a sneak peek and a really good application to put here is the volume booster by Godev it will maximize your volume threefold and um, there's nothing I wasn't able to add on here. Okay, now this device from Kronova, it's a mini projector with a lot of functionality built into it. Now, it has really great uh, picture. This is a 1080p. It's a breathtaking display. You're going to be able to get this projector to do a DLP, very good superior lumens, you have focus, you have sound on here. You're going to be able to get wireless streaming from your iOS device. You have AirPlay, you have eShare, you have a plethora of different options for that. You also have the versatility because it's an Android platform operating system. It's not just a projector, it's virtually limitless with all the applications that I have. Now, I'm a pretty good cord cutter and I was able to get every single application that I use on here for cord cutting it. I'm talking everything. Now, a couple tweaks you can do. The volume has a certain level, but if you didn't want to bring this uh, uh, speaker with you, what I suggest is you use the volume booster. I'll put a link downstairs you can maximize the volume up to threefold what it is here. So if you don't want to bring a speaker, if you wanted to get a surround sound, get a really good speaker, but if you want it to be a standalone system, just download that on here. Now, it also has 
a built-in battery bank in here. You have a 7,000 milliamp battery bank. Now, this is gonna do really, really well. You can watch probably two hours of movie, but if you bring a power source, uh, say a 20,000 milliamp battery with a plug on it, man, there's nowhere we can go. Nowhere you can't go with this. Now, this is great for travel. If you are going somewhere like a plane, you could probably project this on the back of the seat in front of you. You're not gonna need a tablet. I'm always bringing extra stuff like a fire cube everywhere I go, a tablet. I bring a big Android tablet when I travel. You don't need this with this. It's very portable. I bring a Bluetooth speaker at most. The inputs are really, really good. You have USB, you have micro US, uh, micro SD right here. You have an HDMI input and you can put this on your headphones. So, Cronova, you did a really great job on here. What I'm really impressed with is the operating system and it fits in your hand. It's really, really small. It will actually charge your phone. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. The Cronova 1080p mini projector, it's, it gets the chef's kiss on here. You guys did a great job. The operating system for Android on this puppy, man, really, really second, second to none. It's really, really good. Now, if I were to get a model for this to recommend, it's really, really good. It light for travel. Hopefully they work on this and getting a 4K projector. That'd be great. But if you have a kid's room, you're going on travel and you don't want to bring all your stuff, you're going to a family's house, you could use this for gaming. Definitely it has a built-in HDMI. So you bring your PlayStation or your Xbox and you're good to go. You're good to go. Cronova, you guys did a great job. Well, that's going to do for this episode. 